Hi, I'm Jeffrey Antonelli of Antonelli Law. So you're probably looking on the internet for information about this movie company you've never heard of called Strike Three Holdings LLC, and probably making a lot of searches for things called motions to quash a subpoena. So a motion to quash a subpoena is what lawyers may refer to as a motion for reconsideration, meaning that a judge looked at the lawsuit, looked at a motion to basically proceed with this subpoena requested by the movie company and thought, well, okay, uh, but we want the uh, internet subscriber to be able to file an objection uh, in court and per perhaps provide some facts or uh, some law that the judge uh, was not already aware of and uh, provide reasons that the um, subpoena should be quashed. Um, if that happens, then um, your identity will not be known uh, to the movie company. Um, so that's what a motion to quash generally is. Um, in the letter that you receive from your internet provider, whether that's AT&T, Comcast, Verizon, or some other company, uh, they're gonna give you some time, hopefully more, than, more time than less, uh, but they're gonna give you some time and notify you that um, they're going to respond to the subpoena and provide your information as a subscriber by a certain date, um, unless you or your lawyer file a motion to quash that subpoena in the proper court lawsuit uh, and provide them notification of it. So that's a very important date. Prior to that date, you should seek and, um, and, and retain a lawyer that is not only very knowledgeable about BitTorrent copyright infringement defense, but also someone that you trust and that you feel comfortable fully disclosing all the facts that uh, may pertain to you and try to seek a resolution either on the one side preparing for a vigorous legal defense or on the other side attempting to amicably resolve the case out of court also known as an out of court settlement. So that's a decision that should be made before your name is ever released. Um, if on the other hand you have been served with a summons you cannot ignore it. While in general, you may have 21 days from the date that you've been served to file proper paperwork in that uh, court, you should not wait. You should talk to a lawyer right away. I hope this information has been helpful to you, and um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.